In this video, we're going to look at some more advanced features that you can enable on your VideoX when you use it in conjunction with our software, ShareLink. If you haven't had an opportunity to check out our tutorial on the VideoX basic setup, you may want to pause the video and watch it first so you're up to speed. First of all, what is ShareLink? ShareLink is a cloud-based service that offers two major features that can really enhance your live stream. The first feature is multi-destination streaming. This allows you to send your live stream to an unlimited number of social media and streaming platforms all at the same time. You can reach the entire expanse of your audience and not have to direct them to a single live stream so they can find your content with ease. The second major advantage with ShareLink is bonding. This allows you to aggregate the network connection of Ethernet, Wi-Fi, and cellular into one incredibly robust connection. This ensures that your stream doesn't get bogged down or drop out. So now that we know the capabilities associated with ShareLink, let's set up a live stream using some of these advanced features. We can do that by going to sharelink.tv. We've set up our plan ahead of time, so we'll log in. Now we'll open our video app. The very first thing we're gonna do is change our streaming destination to ShareLink. On our home screen, we'll click on the video X. Next, we'll click on the three dots over here in the upper right hand corner and bring up our settings. Then we'll click streaming, followed by configure destination, and then change our destination to ShareLink. We'll copy the code, go ahead and log in, and then we'll select add new video, where we'll be prompted to enter the code we copied previously. Next, we'll select our closest server, then click complete and add. Then it will take us back to the main page. Now we'll go to our browser and sharelink.tv to finish our configuration. And we can already see that our video is connected. Now that we've set up our video X with sharelink, we wanna to stream to multiple destinations at the same time. We'll be streaming to YouTube and Twitch. To start, we'll need to set up a live streaming event on our YouTube account. We'll do that by going to studio.youtube.com. We'll click the live button here in the upper right corner, then select the manage tab, followed by schedule stream. Then we'll select create new. We'll fill in the details, then we'll click create stream. Now that our YouTube live event is set up properly, we're ready to go back to ShareLink and connect our video X to this event. Setting up our destination is very similar to what we saw in our basic setup tutorial. The only difference is now we're gonna do it through the ShareLink interface. We'll click on the channels tab and we'll select add new channel. This will bring up a list of all the supported channels. We'll need to go through the same authentication process as we did in our basic setup and authorize ShareLink to post on our accounts. Once we click on YouTube, we'll be prompted with a login screen to authorize ShareLink to post to the account. Once authorized, back on the ShareLink page, we'll select channel and select our live stream. We've already scheduled an event on YouTube for the stream, so we'll select that now. We'll save, and now YouTube is on our channel list in the video sources tab. Now let's add Twitch. This is a very similar process with some slight differences. That's why it's always important to test out every online video platform you're gonna be using so you familiarize yourself with the process and that way there aren't any surprises. We'll go back to our video X control window and click add channel. We'll select Twitch, we'll select link our account, log in so that ShareLink can post on our Twitch account. Then we'll select our region and enter the channel name, title our live stream, and finally save. Now that we have our two channels configured in ShareLink, what we need to do is take the channels we've created and add them to our video. We'll select the Video Sources tab and then Add Channel and we can see our available channels. We'll select both YouTube and Twitch and click Add. Now we can see that both channels are added to the bottom of our Video X's control window. Then, when we're ready to stream, we'll select Go Live up here in the upper right and it will live stream to all of our channels simultaneously. We can also see on top of our device that the red light is blinking. Let's venture on over to Twitch and YouTube to check out our work. As we can see, our Twitch stream is up and running and over on YouTube, we're live as well. Then when we wanna stop our live stream, we'll go back into ShareLink and simply press stop live in the upper right corner here and it will stop our stream. We can also stop start on individual channels. 
by selecting the Go Live Stop Live button for each channel. So, as you can see, having the option of streaming to multiple platforms comes with some huge advantages. Now we want to get into bonding, which is the process of combining Ethernet, Wi-Fi, and cellular into one reliable connection. And again, this is only available when using ShareLink. So the beauty of this is that there's no setup other than connecting your network sources, i.e. Wi-Fi, Ethernet, and cellular. Once ShareLink is connected to your VideoX, it will automatically combine the signals. So you would simply need to plug in your Ethernet cable, connect to the Wi-Fi network, which we've already done, and plug in a cellular modem. Then ShareLink will take care of the rest. We can click on the Settings Cog button, and we can see that all three network connections are active, indicated by the green light. Bonding is an invaluable tool to making sure that you don't lose your connection, something you should definitely consider if you're at all concerned with the reliability of your network. Using ShareLink with your VideoX can really enhance your live stream. It opens the door to a ton of different options, as well as the added assurance that you have the strongest signal possible. Time to get out there and start streaming.